Today's video is going to be all about how to do a piercing at home. The age old question of how to best do a piercing safely from home. Well, you just don't do it, do ya? Don't do it in the missionary position. Don't do it standing up. Just don't do it, all right? The more you see like a bazillion piercing like DIY home videos pop up all over YouTube. It just kills you as a piercer because you deal with this on such a frequent basis of people like coming in and asking to get a piercing and then they find out the price and then they don't want to do it. And then they just say, oh, I'll just do it at home then. I mean, sure, you can go and do it at home, but it's not going to be safe, sanitary or done properly. Really, I don't see why people want to do this. Like you're putting yourself at risk, at the risk of having an infection and having things go terribly wrong. And you're also putting yourself at risk of looking like a idiot especially when your piercing doesn't look the way it's supposed to or it doesn't sit the way it's supposed to like you don't look cool some of the main reasons why you shouldn't be doing them at home is because like for one there is no way that the area that you're going to be working in is a sterile space the whole point of a piercing studio is because the whole space can be completely sterile everything from the floor to the ceiling is completely sterile and clean and there's a procedure involved to keep it that clean every single day and after every single client as well even though you may think like oh i've bought a needle on eBay, like you can't 100% be sure that those needles are sterile. Like sure, the packet may say sterilized and it may have that information on it. But to be honest, have you bought it from a reputable company? No. So you have no idea if they've just like stamped that on there saying that it is sterilized and it may not be. The things that come from eBay and AliExpress and that sort of thing, even with all their cosmetics and everything like that, like there's been found like poisons and all different things. So who's to say that like something that you're piercing your body with is to be of a proper standard itself. They cannot be trusted. You have no idea who the company is that it's coming from. Coming from somewhere in China or something that like some of those factories have the dodgiest working conditions. Who's to say they haven't shoved it in the little slip that claims to be sterilized and it's not actually like, think about it. Even though you may have this so-called sterile needle, your jewelry and your tools, there's no way they can be sterile unless you just so happen to own an autoclave, which I really doubt you do. Those things are so expensive. Like I really doubt you have one. Most of the time from the ones you see online, they're like, look, they gave me the gloves. Are the gloves from a sterile field themselves? No, most of the time they're just like in the bag with all the other stuff. So like, yuck. Another thing is like the jewelry is just all sitting together. Someone's like popped that jewelry into that bag. So like you've literally had some random touch it and you think just an alcohol swab is going to be enough to sterilize that to be put into a fresh wound. Like it is not okay. And there is no way those tools can be sterilized because they're fucking plastic. They will melt in an autoclave. And you also don't know what grade the jewelry is that you're getting. Like a lot of the cheap jewelry that you can find on eBay and that sort of thing, which like you shouldn't be piercing with anyway. Implant grade titanium is your best option, which you're not gonna get from like a $5 kit off eBay. No way in hell are you going to get that with all your other like tools and needles and one out and also hilarious because majority of them like only have one alcohol wipe with them and one pair of gloves for like all the piercings that you're supposedly going to be able to do with all the needles that you have and all the jewelry that you have and you're going to reuse those same gloves like that is disgusting and people might think oh i'm only doing it on myself i don't need to wear gloves or i can reuse the gloves no you cannot that is cross contamination and that is disgusting another reason is because you don't even know what you're doing you've never been trained properly in how to use needles you've never been trained properly in how to install jewelry some people don't know the proper position or angle that certain piercings are meant to go at so how are you going to get it right if you've never been trained that? And some people may just say, oh, but like I can tell because I've been pierced so many times before. Okay, sure. But another thing is the fact that doing it on yourself makes it so much more difficult as well. Trying to get that perfect angle on yourself, like it's hard to do and you probably won't succeed, especially 
if you have no idea how to use needles. Needles can be very dangerous to use if you have no idea what you're doing. They are so, so sharp. And even the tiniest little prick that you might give yourself can cause so much blood and it is not fun. If you're causing like small pricks everywhere where you're trying to pierce, it can basically like cause a lot of openings and a lot of like wounds that can just cause more bacteria to get in, more infections, the whole shibam. I hope in today's video you learned how to do a piercing at home. What did we all learn? Don't do it, all right? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this, please give it a like down below and I will see you in the next one.